Hello, everybody. I'm Karina Chin with KarinasCreations.com, and I just want to thank you so much for stopping by today. I'm going to show you how to make a version of this fun card that I made. This card was made using the So Many Stars stamp set, which will be rolling over into the annual catalog. You can get it right now until January 2nd, and then it kind of goes in the vault, just like Disney, goes in the vault until June, and then you'll be able to get it after that. So, and also on this fun card, I was in an international blog hop yesterday. So if you check out my blog at karinascreations.com, you'll get to see all the other amazing projects that the other ladies designed as well. So before I start, I always want to thank people for liking and sharing my video. I'm trying to get my name out there um, to let people know that I'm still stamping and uh, selling Stampin' Up! products. So whenever you like or share your video, I always put your name into a draw. So before we start, I just wanted to draw, this will be the door prize. It is going to be these really pretty holiday basic jewels. And I put the names in the bucket and I'm pulling out one. And the winner is Serena, Serena. Lalani, I'm probably saying your last name wrong. I'm so sorry. Anyway, Serena, you won a prize, so I will uh, get your address and pop it in the mail to you. That'll be a nice surprise. These are wonderful even if you don't stamp a lot because you can always add them to your Christmas tags, put them on your nails if you want to bling up your nails a little bit. You can do lots of fun things with them. Okay, I have a few things to share before I start just to allow some people time. Uh, to get on. So first of all, Stampin' Up! Today started the year-end clearance sale. So this is very exciting because they've got a few items, well, certain items that are on sale uh, right now. For example, the wonderful coffin boxes for Halloween, uh, the Halloween stamp sets on sale. Um, I'll put a link on my video to the sale items right now. And you also get to know which items will be retired as of January 3rd and which are going to be rolling over into the holiday catalog. So I've got all that stuff on my blog today. And I will also send an email out to people. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention was I have my class coming up this Sunday. I've got two spots left. This is going to be the wonderful time of year card class. This is what it looks like. So you're going to make two of these cute little boxes. And inside the box, it holds 10 Christmas cards. So you're going to make 20 Christmas cards and two boxes. So you can either use your 20 cards or you can give one as a gift. And I'm behind on my Christmas cards, so I'm actually going to make 20 Christmas cards and mail them out. I've mailed no Christmas cards yet. So this is a $70 class. Uh, you get a lot of product. You're going to end up going with Home with Designer Series paper at the end. You also get some rhinestones. Um, and I'm doing it on Sunday afternoon, this Sunday, and on Monday afternoon as well. And then also, I'll show you this project. This is a fun mini scrapbook album. The mini scrapbook album is $33. And this is what it looks like. I've got two of these kits available and I can mail it to you if you live out of town. So first of all, it's got a belly band that slides off. Isn't this cute? Paper's so pretty. And then these are all the cousins from last year's Christmas. I'll just flip, uh, flip quickly just because I don't know if everybody wants their faces to be on my Facebook Live, but I just thought it was super cute. So if you want to make this mini album, I do have two spots available on Sunday. And I'm running it from 1 to 4.30. So that's a mini album class. I made one up and now I want to make one for my mom and dad and I want to make one for my father-in-law because I thought that was really fun as well. Another thing, if you like Stampin' Up! products and you have a wish list, I'm also doing... Uh, my Stampin' Up! wish list and you can give it to your family or, or your family member and I will contact them and let them know what you were hoping to get from Santa and then they can choose a few items. I'll contact them, even wrap the presents and then get it to you for time for Christmas so you'll actually have some fun stamping products that you want. Isn't that fun? Uh, the next thing I wanted to mention was we have celebration coming on. Now I think I can show the front of the catalog. This is going to start January 3rd, and it's got a whole bunch of fun things in it. So if you live in Canada and you need a catalog, 
and plan to use me as your demonstrator, I will happily pop one in the mail. Whenever you spend $60 from here, you get something from the Celebration Catalog. And uh, stay tuned. Probably in a week or two, I'll start posting samples from these. Brand spanking new. So exciting. And then I will announce at the end of January, the Tabletop Cafe, I'm going to have a card class, which is going to, we're going to make six cards. It'll be $30 or free with an order. And if you're interested in that, you can let me know. Another thing I just finished working on was I have a, a class called Stamp Set of the Month. And it's based on the Wheel, Wheel, Wheel Walrus, Walrus Be Friends. I better try that again. Will Walrus Be Friends stamp set. And these are three of the cards. See, there's that design again. I loved it so much. And then this was a video I did last week. Look at this happy little guy. Isn't that cute? And then I use a birthday bouquet punch as well. So with this, the people get three cards plus the stamp set. I think it's a $30 stamp set, so I tack on $5 if I have to ship it. $5 for the cards. You can have the completed cards or the card kits. I have a PDF done of, done up of this already. So if you're interested in that, uh, leave a comment on my blog and I will contact you. This is the bonus card I made. Isn't that cute? Super cute as well. Just floating by to say hi. This is such a happy set. This set is in the annual catalog, so it's not retiring anytime soon. So no worries. Okay, I think that's all I wanted to share for now. So I think we can start stamping. Now I'm going to pull this card back in. And we'll start with this. Now, if you know me at all, I don't like stamping things more than once. So I thought I would challenge myself to work with the Sip Sip Hooray stamp set because this is going to be retired. And I love it. And it coordinates with another set that says Happy New Year's and has Happy New Year greetings. But I have friends who like to celebrate their birthdays. So I thought we'll make a birthday card using this design. So let's get started. Okay, step one, I have already cut my card base. It is five and a half inches, eight and a half inches by five and a half inches. And I have pre-scored it at four and a quarter inches already. So I'll put that there. And then I am using for my designer series paper, this gorgeous cardstock. Let's pull out all my pieces. I always lose them. So I'm gonna try to put them here today. So you can see it's double-sided. And this paper is still available. It's called Christmas Time is Here. And look at the beautiful roses. I could have put roses on my card, but I didn't think it really went with my martini glass slash wine set. So we'll just leave that aside. Now I'm just gonna quickly, I'm gonna put this on the front. Uh, this is two and a quarter inches by four inches. And we'll just glue this down first because this is the easiest part of the card. And then I'll show you the tricky part. Not tricky, it just really helps if you have a product called the Stamparatus. Okay, so that's down. Now we're just gonna set this aside for now. There it is, looking for my piece. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is pull out our rectangular stitched framelit dies. So you need a die cutting machine for this. And I'm pretty sure I used the second largest frame. Yes, I did. And I really like using this because it adds a nice stitch shape onto my designer series paper. So let's go like that and I'll pull in my machine. There we go. And I'm gonna move this and I'll get this. Okay. I'm just gonna put this down. You can see how well loved these are. I need to get a replacement pad, obviously. But it still works for now. This is my other plastic cutting pad, so we'll just put it on the machine. I run a lot of Stampin' Up! classes. I always have a monthly Monday stamp class and then, or sorry, Monday night stamp class on the third Monday of every month and then a Wednesday morning card class on the second Wednesday of the month. And so my plates, because I do so many classes, my plates get well used and well loved. Okay, now what this did, if you take a close look, you can see the stitching. 
on the designer series paper. So I'm just going to put this back because I don't want to lose it. There we go. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is punch some holes. So I'm using my one and a half inch circle punch. If you turn the punch to the back, it's got a little latching mechanism that pops it open. And I'm actually punching this upside down. I think with this one, I'm only going to create two, two holes. Let's try to do it this way. It's going to be a little bit of a different design. You can see with my so many stars card, I actually did three. And then I have pre-cut a piece of Whisper White cardstock to just fit underneath this one. So I believe this is uh, three and a quarter inches by four and three quarter inches. Yeah, that will work just fine. Okay, so now I'm going to pull out my Stamparatus. Now, if you have, uh, if you've never had one of these before and you like card making, you need this. That's all I'm going to say. You will absolutely love this. So it comes with two plates, the plastic plate. There's one on the top like this and then one on the side. I've got my second plate tucked away. I only need one right now, but this is a stamp positioning tool. I believe it's $67. I just bought a brand new one, a second one, because I need two. I need two of these, especially if I'm doing a class where we have specific uh, places we need to stamp. So what I'm gonna do first of all is put this right about here. And what I'm gonna do is line up my stamps because I need to be able to have my stamped images on here so that they'll show through the holes. So which images should I use? Let me see. Let's use the Sip Sip. Let's put Sip Sip here. Let's see what that looks like. Sip Sip. And you can see how I'm lining it up in my punch tool. And then this one is going to say, I'll drink to that. And you have to do it this way. And the thing I love about the Stamparatus is it works for these type of stamps, which are called photopolymer, and then a more a different type of stamp, which is a rubber mount stamp. And you simply change, you add this foam pad to your Stamparatus, depending on whether you're using photopolymer or whether you're using your rubber stamps. Okay, now that this is lined up, all I do is close my plate Remember where I put this piece of paper. That's why I like this grid sheet. I know I had it lined up like this. There we go. And then it should be ready to stamp. This is a magnet. You get two of them with the Stamparatus. If they connect together, sometimes they break. So you gotta be really careful. Oh, I see Bilkis is here. Hello, Bilkis. Hello, Sharon. Wanted to pop in and see who's watching because like I said, it's not my normal time. Okay, so let's stamp this. Now, when I ink this up, I really like to put um, a stamp, put a stamp or a block or something underneath it. I'm going to use an ink pad. And the reason I do that is it just lets me have, keep this door, this little plastic door plate flat, and then I can ink up my stamp a little bit easier. You know what? I don't think I'm changed my mind. I don't want that color. I want to use cherry cobbler. So I'm just going to clean it with my Simply Chamois. You can see I need a new Simply Chamois. It does get dirty after a while. Mine is very dirty. Okay, we're going to pull this back in. Let's start this again. Okay, now I want cherry cobbler ink. So I think that'll look prettier. Another thing I could have done with this is embossed it with gold embossing powder and Versamark ink. But since I didn't really have a completed card, I'm just gonna go with this and we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so sip, sip, hooray. I'll drink to that. See, perfectly lined up to fit in my holes. Isn't that great? That's why you need this Stamparatus. Super easy to line things up. Now I'm just going to set this aside. And the other nice thing, if I'm making 20 of these cards, um, it's lined up for my next one, ready to go. So I'll just set this aside. 
And I think we will pop this up with Stampin' Dimensionals. These are mini Stampin' Dimensionals that I'm using. Put one here, one, two, three, four. One on each corner, and then we'll put one in the middle, and then I'll just make it look really pretty. There we go. And you just have to peel off the backings off of these dimensionals. They are double-sided. And you get a lot of dimensionals in a package. And if you use snail adhesive, I am doing a snail share. Snails are five, re, snail refills are five dollars. So I'll be doing that probably tomorrow, my snail share. So, and I usually bring 65 in. So you can always let me know if you're interested in that. Okay, so how's this coming along? I think we're actually safe to glue this on to the front now, and then I'll show you how I'm gonna finish it off. Because you're probably thinking, wow, Karina, that just does not look very exciting or amazing. Well, that's okay, just wait. It will look really good. Because we need a wine glass on it now. I think this is gonna be red wine. Let's do red wine. So we'll get a piece of scrap paper. And I'm going to stamp it on here. Oh, and there's framelits for this. Hmm, I might actually fussy cut it out just because I'm not sure where they are. And you don't want to uh, wait for me to find them, I don't think. Okay, look how pretty that is, you guys. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so because there are coordinating framelits to this, and get ready for this. This is probably the first and only time you will ever see me fussy cut. I don't fussy cut. If there is a die, I am buying that die. But I have to say, if you're going to fussy cut, buy the paper snips. I think they're around $15 and they do make your life better. Or I guess if you don't have a big shot machine, you could just fussy cut. Big shot die cutting machine, that is. Okay, that wasn't so bad. My friend Sue was watching this video. She'd laugh at me because she fussy cuts everything. Okay, now we have our little wine glass. Ooh, that looks pretty cute. Don't you think that looks cute? Okay, so we're going to put that on here. And I think we're going to pop this up as well. I almost want to wink, put a wink of Stella on it now. It's somewhere in my room. Okay, we've got that. What else do we have here? We've got some gold ribbon. Where could I put that? I think we need a bow or something at the top. So let's make bunny ear bows. You just make two loops, fold one over the other, give it a pull, then we got our bunny ear bows done. I did a card class today at a place of work and it was lots of fun with stamping with the ladies. So if you ever want to do a card class over your lunch hour at work, I will happily come and do it for you. I love stamping, love stamping with my friends. So much fun. Okay, we're going to get a glue dot. Ooh, here's a stray glue dot right here. You just push your center of your bow to the glue dot and then peel it off. We're gonna put that there. And then I think we need a few rhinestones. So this was Serena's prize. Where did I put the other rhinestones? When I get stamping, things just disappear. Hmm, I had them and now they walked away. Let's just take a quick look. This is how I keep all of my brads and embellishments. Hmm, I have regular rhinestones, my holiday ones. You're gonna laugh, but as soon as the video's done, it'll be right in front of me. That's just how things work. Ooh, look, this is really pretty. Let's use these gold, metallic gold ones instead. Metallic pearls. Because we need something. Ooh, I just had another idea. And then I'll show you the inside. So I like to actually grab them with paper snips. Put one here. See, doesn't that just make your card? I'll drink to that. Yes, I will. Sip, sip. Oh, look how cute that is, you guys. Now, the only thing that's missing is I think we need 
uh, the inside of the card decorated. So there is a stamp that says, hope your big day is just one happy hour after another. Oh, that is just the best saying. Here we go. So I put this sideways on my cardstock, which is probably not the smartest thing to do, but it worked. And then I think we need another wine glass. So we'll put one of these down here. And then of course, we'll have to stamp the envelope as well. I think all my envelopes though are at the card class I just did in my bucket. So we might have to stop the video here. So pretend this is an envelope where you're stamping your little wine glass on it. I'm gonna do this after when the video is over. But you can see how easy it is to make these quick cards when you have the Stamparatus because everything lines up perfectly. There you go. So this is now the finished card. Sip, sip, hooray, I'll drink to that. Hope your big day is just one happy hour after another. It's a beautiful card. I'll pull this one in again just to show you the same design. This is using the So Many Star stamp set. And then again, same design using the Will Walrus Be Friends. So thank you so much for watching today. I hope I've given you a fun design and a fun card that you can make. And uh, please like or share or comment on my video. And I hope that you will stamp with me again soon. So I hope you have an amazing day. Bye.